Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at my new favorite plugin for adding type overlays, title overlays in Final Cut Pro. So, this is the new Quicklist plugin from BrettFX, and as you can see, it creates these nice, really cool animations over the top of your video, over the top of any images that you've got. And there's a few different features of it that I'd like to look at in this video. So, actually, we're going to dive right in and we're going to quickly add a video to the timeline. We're going to add one of the BrettFX Quicklist overlays over the top. Now, these come in two parts. Basically, within here, we've got our lists. So you can see we've got some different lists that animate on in different ways. And then we've got some options for how we either split our video or an overlay that will kind of animate onto our video. So we're gonna have a look at this vertical split. So basically, we can drag this down to the timeline. And if we quickly play this through, you can see it will split the video and we can decide where we want that to split. So if we come up to our inspector at the top right, if you don't see your inspector, just go to Window, Show in Workspace, and check the inspector is turned on. And there'll be a few different tabs up here. If you're on the Video tab, you'll want to come to the Title Inspector option up here. And basically, we've got some options for the speed at which we build this in and out. We can turn that off if we want to. We've got some options for the color. So we've got a solid color kind of behind here. We can modify that. So let's get something that complements nicely with his T-shirt. We can choose some other options here as well, such as a vignette, a highlight, or the video, and which will show a kind of blurred version of the video behind there. We'll leave it with a solid color. And then we can also change the position of the split as well. So we can change the position and the size depending on the size that we think our list is going to need. So we can kind of move this and modify it. We can also add a little bit of curve to it as well. If we want to add a bit more interest to our list and an angle. So we've got some real nice options for modifying these different elements. So a bit more of a shadow there. So you can kind of really get that depth in there. We've got some options for the border style. So we can have just one line on the right there. We can have a line on the left and then some different options for like neon lines and things like that. So we've got some different kind of options for splitting this in different ways. I quite like this rough line, so we'll leave that on. We can change the color of that, and then we can have it as an animated line, so we can see at the beginning here, this is animating on, and that looks quite nice. So, we're gonna scroll down here and have a look at some of the other elements, and this is a real nice thing about these plugins. The animations aren't over complicated, but they are very slickly done, and you have all the control that you need up in the inspector, so we can really kind of modify and adjust the things that we need to. So we've got our options for our drop zone here as well. I'm gonna make a selection from my library up here at the top left. We'll choose this little logo and we'll apply that to the clip. So now we have this inside our drop zone here. And basically what we're gonna do now is just modify the scale of that. So we can increase and decrease the scale of the actual circle and then we can increase and decrease the size of that little logo to get it to fit within that circle. Obviously, we've got things like the outline here, which we can modify and adjust. So maybe we'll choose a bit more of a kind of darker color, so there's a bit more contrast there with the background. And we can increase things like the outline width as well. We can also add a blur to the foreground too, and also a tint to that foreground as well. So we can almost, with this brown here, kind of give it a bit more of a sort of almost sepia tone um, to that image. So this is all gonna animate on really nicely when we reveal this. So real nice kind of selection of animations there. I'm gonna turn the tint intensity down there. We're gonna keep the natural color on this. So basically this matches up with the lists that you can add from the quick lists plugin. So you can see I've got my background effects, I've got my list at the top, and then I also have some title options down here as well. So if we come to the, the lists, we've got a couple of options for single column lists, a couple of options for double column lists. We're going to just choose one of these single column lists and drag it down to our timeline. And I'm just going to use option and the right square bracket just to trim that down. And then we just need to match the animation of the list so that it kind of times well with our other animation. So you can see this growing here. So we want that list to start growing as this animation is completing. So you can see this animates out and then my list starts growing down. And then I just need to reposition the list. And again, I've got the options for the position and all these other elements up here as well. So we can just drag that to the left 
get that nicely positioned over the top here. And basically you end up with these two layers, one being your reveal and then one being your, your list here. So if we select our list here, we can come up, we can drag this out, we can edit the type here. It looks like we're only gonna get seven items in the space that we have. So we'll just delete those other lines. So we can pop our own list in here. I've got a list copied from a different source. We're just gonna paste that in and you can see these are all just different items you wanna think about when you're doing an online presentation. And you can see now we've got this nice animation, really easy to set up, really easy to add those graphic elements like the logo and the list as well, and get that all positioned really nicely within Final Cut Pro. Now, I'm a big fan of this ease of use and also of the different options that we have here within our titles. So I'm just gonna duplicate my clip along the timeline. You can see we've got these horizontal splits as well. So a similar kind of animation, except this time we're splitting the clip horizontally, which will work for some clips and not for others. We move to the middle of our image here. We're just gonna make the size of this a bit smaller, and then we will change the position. And you can see you start to be able to work with that in different ways. And these horizontal splits work nicely with these titles. So we can drag a title on there, we can hover over the title and then we can just drag that down to position it centrally here. We can obviously modify the wording here. And then things like the, the logo and stuff that we've got down at the bottom, we can obviously adjust where those appear. So I'll select my horizontal reveal down there. We'll select the same icon that we had before for the other logo. And then with that selected, we'll just modify the scale of that so that it fits in there. And then we'll modify the position of that so that it appears this time above that line. So again, that real nice ease of use, really easy to kind of move around and modify where things are gonna appear within our animation and within these kind of graphic elements that we're adding. Come back to the BrettFX quick list. You can see we've got some other options that are pre-built down here as well. So we've got this Manhattan list. You can see from the thumbnail, the idea is that we have a cocktail in the background and we've got some other options here as well. So again, really nice and quick and easy to add title splits that will reveal the title, create a space for you to add those important lists and kind of give a bit more energy and animation to your videos. And then also just some of these nice kind of preset elements that really allow you to add that professional look and feel to your videos, but very nicely and quickly and easily, but with a lot of control over the design elements as well. I hope you like this quick overview of the BrettFX QuickList plugin. If you do have any questions, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.